Hi guys, and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this week's video, we're going to introduce Power Pivot. Now, this is the first time we're looking at this in my videos. So the very first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to enable the Power Pivot add-in in Excel. So I've got a blank workbook here. I'm going to come to my File tab. I'm going to come down to Options at the bottom here. And then I'm going to come to my Add-in Options. At the bottom, you've got Manage. And then a little drop down list. I'm going to select Com Add ins, click Go. And what you can do is you can select Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel in here. I'm also going to enable the Power Map. Clicking on OK. This is now enabled. There is also a second way of doing it. If I come back to my options and go to Customize Ribbon, you can make sure that you check your Developer tab, click OK. And on your Developer tab, you've got this COM add-ins options here, and you can select them in there. So that's just a quick overview of how you get started. You'll now have this Power Pivot tab. So let's now look at a really simple example. Now, this workbook has been set up with three tabs. The first with Details on Staff, the second with Details on Projects, and the third is timesheet bookings, where we've got data on particular staff booking against particular projects. And what we want to do is we want to build up a data model that links our staff to our timesheet, our projects to our timesheet. And this will allow us to analyze the three data sets together in a much easier way without having to create additional tables with complicated formulas and lookups in it. And setting up our data model is extremely easy. What we're going to do is we're going to come to our first tab click into our table and then come over to our Power Pivot tab at the top. And what we want to do is we want to hit Add to Data Model when we're in our table. And what that will do is it will open up our Power Pivot window and you can see that that table has been added in. We then want to repeat this for the other tables in our workbook. So if we come back, we've clicked into that and we want to add this one to Data Model. You can see at the bottom in our Power Pivot window, we've got staff and projects now. So we're going to come back and add in our third table. So clicking into the table, add it to the data model, and we can see that that's now included. I'm just going to maximize this so you can see it properly. So once all our three data sets are in, we want to now link them. Now I find that the easiest way to do this is instead of data view in this little view group here, I'm going to click on diagram view. And what you can see is we can see our three different tables here. We can expand out these boxes if it's got more columns and we want to be able to see a bit more. And we can use this view to link our different tables together. So what I want to do is I want to link my name in my staff table to my name in my timesheet table and my project reference in my projects to the project reference in my timesheet table. To do this, what we do is come over to name, right click and click on create relationship. So we can see we've got our table staff. We've selected name and we want to link that to our timesheet table. So we click timesheet. It's also selected the name in there because I've named them the same way. And I'm going to click on OK. And you can see that this now shows that relationship. We're then going to do the same thing with our project reference. Project reference, link it to my timesheet table. You can see it's also picked up project reference there. If it hasn't done it, we can simply select it. And then we're going to click OK. And again, if we just move this, you can see that those two relationships have been created. And what I want to do now is I'm going to load into my workbook a pivot table. So I'm going to click up here on pivot table. I'm going to put it into a new worksheet, click OK. And you can see here, I now have a pivot table in. It's gone into sheet one. I can rename this or reorder it if I want to. And you can see over in my pivot table fields box here, that we've got our projects, our staff, and our timesheet, all the separate tables which can be expanded out. From this, you can show data from different tables in different ways. If we look at our timesheet table, we can see we've got our name of our staff in here, our project reference, and number of hours. But say I wanted to display the project name instead. We could click on project name here, so we can see we've got our names of our people, our project references, and then say we want the number of hours. You can see that that's all gone in. 
Let's say we just want to compare the number of hours booked on a project against the number of hours allocated. We could take out name here, click on number of hours allocated, and you can see I've got 75 hours allocated to this project, but only 10.5 booked. Let's say we wanted to add in an additional column that calculates how many are left. So we want to take the number of hours away from the number of hours allocated. What you can use is you can use this, this measures button. So we click on measures, new measure. In this formula here, we want to do sum of hours allocated. And we want to take away the sum of number of hours. We can check our formula. There's no errors. We can give it a name. So say we want to call this hours remaining. And we're going to click on OK. You can see that that's now added in. So it's taking away our number of hours from our number of hours allocated. And you can reorder these in any way that you see fit. You can adjust your pivot table in a way that you can adjust a normal pivot table, renaming your headers, formatting it in any way you want, using your pivot table analyze and sign tabs. If you'd like to check out more on how to edit or format your pivot tables, do check out my other videos such as the one I'm linking to in the top of the screen at the moment. So hopefully you can see from this very simple example how useful Power Pivot can be. If you've got any particular questions, do leave me a comment below that use these to inform future videos. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.